Hey, I want to show you a crazy comment from this person named Jadalyn. Um, and this is in response to the video I did calling out that channel Truth Unedited. Okay. And, you know, she posted another comment basically wondering if I have any Bible verses. And I told her, you know, check out the video I did yesterday that's over 40 minutes long and also check out my Once Saved, Always Saved playlist. And here's another comment that she posted. And she, she writes, Wow, I watched this video for 30 seconds and read through some of these comments to prove truth unedited. Knows what he's talking about. And cites sources to prove from the Bible and more. I don't see none of y'all using any scriptures. And the fact someone commented about being baptized to be saved. Yes, the Bible says you must be baptized to enter the kingdom of heaven. Once saved, always saved is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Does that mean all I have to do is believe while doing anything I want and I'm going to heaven? That Satanism straight out of the Satanic Bible, do with that will. If I were you, I'll do some heavy praying, fasting, and scripture reading. And look, there's so many people like this person that are just so brainwashed and so cult-like. That they think that Jesus Christ paying for all your sins is satanic. I mean, it's it's insane what some of these people believe. And, you know, I also did a video a few days ago about, you know, that how most people just, they don't want to know the truth. This is another example because I, I told her, check out my playlist. I, I You know, check out my other videos. I show a bunch of scriptures. And... This is what they post in, as a return, right? And look, Ephesians 2, 8, 9 says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Okay? Because salvation is not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost, which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Okay. It's not by works of righteousness which we have done. Now, no, you don't have to be water baptized to be saved because that's works. And, um, you know, Jesus Christ himself was water baptized. Do you believe Jesus Christ needed to be saved? But he told John the Baptist that he was going to be baptized to fulfill all righteousness. But again... Salvation is not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us by the washing and regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. And look, people who teach in baptismal regeneration, they're not trusting in Jesus Christ, they're trusting in their own works, they're trusting something they, they do. And the Bible says there's one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. And Jesus Christ isn't going to water baptize you, okay? You're going to be water baptized by a sinful human being that needs to be saved just as much as you need to be saved. And you're a fool if you think dunking your head in water um, saves you, okay? No, it's the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed for you on the cross that saves you. And you know, I'm going to show you Colossians 1.14. Hold on. Whoa. Look what Colossians 1.14 says. This is about Jesus Christ. It says, In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Now, look, the preaching of the cross to them that perish, it's foolishness unto them, okay? And, you know, that video I did about truth and edited that these people got so triggered about where I have like 34, 35 dislikes. In that video, you know, I talked about how, you know, people who trust in themselves and that the I once saved, always saved, they don't believe that Jesus Christ saves to the uttermost. Okay. They don't believe that Jesus Christ saves. And... The Bible says 
in John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And these idiots don't know what everlasting means because they don't want it to mean what it means because then they'll have to admit that they, that they deserve hell for their sins and that they're wicked and that all their righteousness are as filthy rags. They'd have to admit that Jesus was right when he said here in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. See, you don't come unto the Father by your own works. It's through Jesus Christ and his finished work on the, you know, that he accomplished on the cross. And look, just take this at face value. We have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. In Galatians 2.21, it says, I do not frustrate the grace of God. For if righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. Now, I do believe it's a sin to n not be baptized after you're saved. Okay? But, but look. Do you believe Jesus Christ paid for all your sins or just some of them? Okay? And the thief on the cross in Luke 23 was not baptized and he went to heaven. Okay. Moses was not dunked underwater. David was not dunked under water. Okay. Abraham was not dunked under water. People in the Old Testament were not dunked under a body of water. Are you telling me they all went to hell? It's ridiculous. It's stupid. Jesus Christ tasted death for every man. And the reason Jesus Christ died for everybody is because for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Why don't you read Romans chapter 3, Romans chapter 4, Galatians chapter 3, you know, the book of John. Or at least, at least John chapter 3. And, you know, and some of you are going to try to pull out you know, Mark 16, 16. Mark 16, 16 clearly says that the people that believe not shall be damned, okay? Look, the people that are saved are the ones that believed, okay? And the ones that believe not are the ones that are damned. In John chapter 3, being born of water refers to your physical birth when your mother's water breaks, Okay, and then being born again refers to a spiritual birth. And Jesus said, you must be born again. It's just sickening that people want to boast about how good they are. Look, your best crucified Christ. Okay, that, that's your best. And it's a disaster. You need to be saved.